It's the late 18th century. Thomas and Anne Drayton loaded their family and slaves on a vessel tied to the seawall in tropical Bridgetown, Barbados. When all were aboard, sails were raised, lines were thrown to the deck of the vessel, and they were off on a long voyage to the new English colony of Charlestown. They became the first of a direct line of ownership of Magnolia and Drayton Hall plantations over a nearly 350-year span. The two plantations rest along the Ashley River across from what is now North Charleston, South Carolina. It was not until early in the 19th century that those gardens began to take on the size and grandeur visitors to Magnolia Hall enjoy today. Magnolia Hall housed English troops during the American Revolutionary War and was burned to the ground during our not-so-civil war. While Drayton Hall is the original construction from the early 18th century, Magnolia was reconstructed. Today, Magnolia's gorgeous gardens are the big draw. Interested to see more? Hear more? Know more? Well, you can visit and book your tour on their websites magnoliaplantation.com and draytonhall.org And that's the way it was and is in South Carolina. <laughs>